Hello and welcome to today. We're take a look at Gladia Bots. This is a game that's been developed by GFX47, available on itch.io, uh, half price actually at the moment. Uh, and Alpha 12 has has just come out, so I thought we'd show the thing off. What is the game? Well, <laughs> take some explaining. Uh, think of it as a uh, it's a battle arena. We each each side has uh, some robot minions, robot minions that have different abilities. We want to try to score points by grabbing resources on the map, dunking them into our into our scoring area, all while trying to fight off and stop the other side from doing the same thing. Catch is, we don't have any control over these bots. We have to program this with a bunch of if-then sequences. Say, uh, if you see a resource on the map, go pick it up. If you have a resource in your hands, go put it in the hoop. If your shields get taken down because someone shoots at you, then run away. If you see a bot nearby you, then fire at it. That kind of a thing. If if you see a bot near you that's carrying a ball, fire at that one instead. You know, that sort of a sequence. It's it's it, it's crazy complicated. Um, but uh, I think we'll we'll see if we can struggle through this, and I can explain this somehow. I think the best way actually of of explaining it is jumping into a match and showing what's actually happening here. Then we'll go into a bit of training mode and kind of see. Uh, just kind of take it step by step and kind of explain what's happening. There is a campaign mode where you can play online versus, or a uh, career mode where you play online versus other uh, real folks that are out there. Asynchronous matches, so you can kind of set up your bots however you want to do that. There's a sandbox mode you can make whatever you want. There's an AI editor where you can select and program your AI into doing whatever things you want them to do. These are terrible. Don't don't do any copying off of mine. They're terrible. Uh, <laughs> I was looking online and trying to get an idea how I should program my my bots and. Everyone else's online are way more complicated than mine, so so don't use mine. Um, but let's jump into a match here. Campaign mode, we're going to jump to cap chapter 1, level 1. We're going to let this one play out to get an idea of what's happening. I'll try to explain what's happening uh, as, as it goes on. But here we go. We have our four bots over here. We have Machine Gun Bot. Machine Gun Bot is using the AI of Machine Gun Bot. These are telling him to run away if he's get short. Shields get low. It's telling him to go pick up resources if he sees them. Uh, fire at the weakest enemies and dunk resources if we have. We'll go over all this in time. I just want to kind of get a a, a, be, a brief overview of, of a match here. Shotgun Man is like uh, close range, does damage. He's quick. Sniper Man is slow, does damage at long range. And we have Machine Gun. Uh, this is a, an assault guy who's following the same orders as Machine Gun Guy where he is just sort of an average bot. They have the same thing. They have all a bunch of assault bots. So same thing. So your goal, pick up, pick up the ball, put it in the blue American Gladiators thing. And you win. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, so we can see we've got Shotgun Man. Right now, he can't do any of these commands to the left, so he's going to go to the right, and he is going to go catch a resource. That's what he's trying to do right now. He's going to catch a resource. Now that he has a resource, if he's carrying a resource, he's going to go dunk it into a, a, a base. But there's somebody in range. If someone's within range, a short or medium, he's going to flee. He's going to run away. I don't want him getting shot. This is my resource collecting man. These guys are now firing because... Enemies are within short, medium, or range distance. They're going to fire at the weakest guy that they can. And Sniper Man is doing basically the same thing, but he's going to go for the weakest ones. Again, I just have it programmed a little differently, but at a longer range as well. So we'll we'll get a better overview of what all this stuff means, but I just want to see a match played out here. So you can see Sniper Man, or uh, Shotgun Man, is is trying to stay out of the range because that's his orders here. If, I if I'm carrying a resource, go dunk it. But before that, your orders are to flee from anybody within medium range of you, like this guy right here. So he's fleeing. Once he gets out of range, he's trying to go dunk it. These guys all have orders to fire at whoever's the weakest guy within range, which they have now done. And uh, this guy, they all have shields. They have health bars. You can see they are all just sort of plucking this guy now. And there we go. So now that they are all dead, we all now have orders. First orders here is to go pick up resource. Well, first resource, first catch resource. Once that is done, it's going to go checking down the list. What do you do? If your shields are down, nope, that's fine. If you're carrying a resource, then go dunk it. So there we go. That So there's a match. We won. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, let's go into training mode and uh, and make it take a little bit easier easier and, and get an idea of what, uh, what is properly happening here. We're going to jump into basic training. We're going to go into the score of the resource one because it's a nice simple one to kind of get an idea of what's how to program things. So our objective, score the resource in our base. This is what our bots are doing. This is the whole goal of the game here. So we go into the programming thing. Now we have condition modes and we have action modes. So it's telling me to link these things up. We can we can move them around. Well, I can't move these around because this is tutorial land. 
but it reads from left to right. If I'm carrying a resource, dunk it, right? We were just talking about that. If I'm not carrying a resource, it's going to jump to the right one, which means catch the closest resource. So we will link this one up. And this one, so if you are carrying a resource, then dunk it. Makes sense? So now we'll see if it works. Let's watch it. We can see it actually happening. Checks four times per second. And yeah, I can move it around. Okay, thanks. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Now let's play. So there we go. So he doesn't have one, so he's going to go to this one, which is pick up. But now that he has one, he's going to go dunk it in the nearest base. And there he goes. Okay, so there we go. So that's the basic part of the game. We also have priorities here, which is what this one trying to tell me. Um, fix your reordering branches. Yes, yes, yes. So, this one probably needs to be over here. Yes, this one needs to be over here. So, we want him... If we had it like this, then he would go catch the resource, then he'd go catch the next resource. He wouldn't go try dunking it. So, he needs to be like this, so that he will catch the resource, and then go and and dunk it if he has it. That's what that one's trying to tell me. Let's go jump into a um, attack the enemy. Here we go. So we have an enemy out here now. Let's see how we attack enemies. Let's see, shall we? Let's create an action telling your robot to attack the closest enemy. Only this time you'll have to build your node yourself. Okay, so we're going to grab a node. Blink. We're going to set up an action node. Action is to select to attack the closest to me enemy. Okay, and that's going to happen in the middle here. So he's going to go, if he's carrying a resource, he's going to dunk it. If he's not carrying a resource, he's going to shoot somebody. If he's if he's not carrying a resource and there's nobody nearby, he's going to go pick up a resource. Let's we'll see if it works. So there you go. He's now in range, so he's going to shoot him. And once he's gone, he should go over here. He'll pick one up. And then... Now that he has one, he will dunk it. So there we go. So that's how that's how the game plays out. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Um, let's go back here and see. Was it advanced? Um, this is where you see the different ones. We got shotguns, snipers, machine guns, other different types. You can also set up. There's loads of different stuff that you can set up in the AI editor here. Uh, we can come into the machine guns and we can set up. All kinds of different stuff. We can set up lots of new things. We can set up connectors to sort of help us out. We can set up different actions. Things like attacking, moving. If there's a resource, catch a resource. Uh, you can tag folks. You can team tag. I was trying to figure this one out. I wasn't doing a very good job of it. So that way you focus fire is kind of the point of this one. Um, you can uh, say attack. Uh, attack the enemy with the strongest health. Or maybe attack someone that's closest to the borders. Or someone whose health and shield are uh, weakest or strongest or shield is strongest. So that sort of thing. You can kind of program all of the things in here and hope that it works. So let's jump back into campaign. We'll, we'll see uh, We'll see if we are where any was. I've done two of these so far. And we can, so I'm going to leave this alone and we'll see how it plays. So now they have a much bigger bot this time. I know how this is going to play out, so actually I'm going to change something real quick. My shotgun man. This is my picker-upper man. It's his goal. His, his goal in life is to pick... I don't even have him set to... Well, yes, I do. Um, no, I don't. I don't. No shooting for Shotgun Man. So, what we can do is... Because that big guy has a bigger range, we're going to bump this one up. I want you to flee at long range as well. Okay. So, now... Let's play this one out and see how it goes. So, we're all going to try to pick these things up. This guy is trying to shoot my Shotgun Man. They're also trying to pick things up as well. We probably should be programming ourselves to be firing at the ones picking things up, but uh, I did some before, and it worked fine. So. so there you go. So now they are in they're within long range of him, so he's a little scared. So what I should probably do is program him to pick up one that's furthest away. Pick the one up that's pick the one up that's closest to you. Maybe you should need an, or, an, uh, an order I should be giving him. They are scoring points because we're kind of failing here. This guy is low health. But he's out of our range. And this guy's sort of mowing us down. You can see our shields are taking a bit of a beating. He is now got a below 25% shield, so he's going to try to move away and get recharged. That's what he's doing as well. So yeah, but things can get crazy complex, and you can fight this out online. You, you just sort of set up your team, and you pop them up there, and you just see how they do. 
fighting other folks. They've got two points. I have zero points. Maybe I shouldn't have changed that guy because before I did a lot better than that. I guess we'll just be killing them. They got three points? Wait a minute. We should have him, though. Hopefully. So he's now low. We should be focusing on that guy. I have these. I have him and the um, heavy machine gun man to be set at long range. There we go. He's dead. So now they should both be firing at this guy because he's the weakest health. There we go. So now they'll be moving in range with him. Shotgun man is... Um, I should really set him up. I should put another condition in there to find the closest one because he's going he's just like going to the middle or find one maybe that's closest to the borders go to the borders first and deal with those because everyone's fighting here in the middle might be a better way of of, of dealing with him he's out of this guy's range so the sniper's has given up he's like forget this i've had enough and those guys are gonna this isn't where you're working now is it <laughs> okay there we go it's working fine it's fine there we go we got one over here to pick up there we go. Victory. Yeah, it was it was great. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we've got... Looks like this is a sniper. They've got a sniper on their team now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change this uh, my shotgun man around. Shotgun bot. So what I want you to do... If carrying... I want you to catch a resource. But I want you to catch... I want you to catch one that is nearby you. How do I tell you to do that? So I want you to... Maybe if I just tell you... Catch, um, what if we set this one up? If I want you to catch one, catch one that is closest to the arena borders. Let's try that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Closest to my base. Yeah, that sounds good. So find one that's closest to my base first. And then you can you sort of work your way in that way. I think. And you know what? I'm going to go with the arena border. That seems like it might be a better one. Closest to the borders. I'm hoping you kind of stay on the outside of the map. And do some pickups and things. Uh, now the sniper is going to be a rough one to deal with because he's got a nice range on him. So we'll see how this works. This might this might be okay. Let's see what happens. So he's going to go ahead over here to this one first. Uh, he's going to be out of this guy's range here. So he's going to be in range here in a moment. They're all going for him because he is, I guess, the closest one. And now he's getting a little scared. He's going to fire at the sniper first. Nice. See, the sniper hurts. Now back up, buddy. Now that his... Uh, no, his health is not down. This guy's health is down, so we should be firing on this guy. There we go. He's done. You back up. because you, Oh, you're getting wounded, so you need to be backing up. If he's set to back up. If shields are 0 to 25%, he's backing up. Their sniper is confused. What does he do? What does he do? He's saying no. He's had enough. He's giving up. <laughs> okay, so now this is the next lowest guy, so we should be focusing on that guy. There we go. Machine Gun Man is quite nice. And, um... I guess mm, we might have a bit of an issue here because this guy is, like, wailing on us. We could tell them to focus on a certain bot first. Like, kill the snipers first, something like that. Or kill the big guy first. But we're trying to go for him. His range, you can see, is only 10... Whoops. 10% at long range. But I was having troubles when I went close range. They were dying because they were getting mowed down by the time they got close range. And then they couldn't run away. There we go. We got it all. So this is not the cl not the fastest way of doing this, I suppose, but it works. So about three minutes to go. Yep. There we go. Done. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, so we got three three average guys and a sniper. Do we want to try the same thing we did before? Oh, these are laid out differently. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Sniper's gonna be looking at the mod, this guy, but he should be able to get one dunked before he even gets here. Wait, why are you going to that one? Why are you going over there? Yeah, it slows him down big time when he has that thing on him. Why is he going over there? Okay, snipers hurt a lot. Are you firing at that guy? Um, they're going to win if we can't get these things. We're going to have to change them to, to focus on the ones that are carrying balls for this mission. Yep. He's going to go dunk it. He's going to win. And that is not yeah, that's the game. Okay, so let's tr let's redo this. Mess around with this for a little bit. And I think I figured out the easiest way of doing this is just just charge the shotgun guy in there. Pick up stuff. 
dump it off. Uh, I was able to adjust where he picked up. Before he was he was just taking it to a random one, but now he takes the uh, resource up. He picks the resource up that's closest to them, brings it back to me. So it's really just a race to pick up the resource. So let's uh, let's play it out and see how it goes here. We've got re shotgun man pick up re pick up resource man out here. Really, instead of picking up this one, the closest range, he goes for the one out in the middle, so he can grab it and get back there before he gets blown up. The other guys are just firing at the closest ones. I tried several different things about me firing at the guys with the resources, and uh, I was putting an emphasis on them. I think the uh, resource guy is really just the shotgun man is, is the focus here. He's the closest, so he should be getting mowed down here. There's number two. We just have to get three of them. They've gotten one. We got one. Shotgun guy needs to get back before he gets blown up. Sniper hurts a lot. Uh, don't die, buddy. And I guess he's out of range. I guess sniper's going to go ahead and pick one up. Sure, why not? Shotgun guy is barely alive, but he is still alive. These guys are... What are you doing? Did I break them? Apparently they're broken. Oh, because their only job is to pick up resources. Why are you going over there? So he's going to get blown up, I guess, and then drop it. <laughs> he should be dropping it off. Uh, well, whatever. That works. Alright. It wasn't pretty. But it's a win. Maybe. Oh, uh, hey. Do you have no one to shoot at? Because no one's within range. I don't have you walking forward, that's why. Well, we got it. Alright, let's just take a look at the next mission and see what we can do with it. So, we've got... Oh, they have a shotgun guy this time. Uh, two assault guys and a heavy guy. Let's just see what our mission does here. What we have set up so far. So, we're all going to charge out there to the middle and try to grab that one. Um, this might be successful because they're all going to grab their side. If he can get in there and get back quickly enough... I know they're going to run up and try to grab this one, but as soon as they get in range, they'll start shooting. Which should be right now. There you go. Shoot the guys with the the um, resources, please. There you go. I think his job is to, is to shoot... Uh, I'm going to say my closest guy, but maybe not. They're all just trying to pick up resources. He's going to get blown up. Yeah, he ain't making it. Well, my shields. Come on, shields. No, he ain't making it. <laughs> that guy's rough. He hurts. If we, yeah, we all focus on that big guy. That little guy is easy kill, but uh, we ain't gonna be able to do it. They've got take him out, take him out, take him out. Ah, so close. Can you hit him? The range is kind of killing me here. If we can destroy them now and pick up the scraps, we'll be fine. Just being able to do that. Okay, there we go. Big guy's down. Focus on this guy's sniper. Takes him out. Where are you going, buddy? You're backing up with your shields, okay? Um, yeah, don't let him pick up that resource. We need, we need every single one of them now. Hmm. There he goes. Oh, he got that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, let me see if I can fix this real quick and see what we can do with it. We finally have it here. The uh, the shotgun guy will be sticking nearby the ally base. He won't be going too far out there. He'll stick by our stuff. We have the sniper is going to be moving towards an enemy just to get him out there. Past that resource, which is to be out there, so we can just start shooting. Just stand back and just shoot. That's all he needs to do. Machine gun guys, they basically do the exact same thing. They just sit back and shoot. Whoever has the lowest shields... Because once the shields go down to zero, then they start panicking. Actually, you know what? What if I should change that to health? Let me change that to health real quick. Weakest health. Um, and same thing with you, Sniper. I want you to fire at the guy with the weakest health. Should probably focus fire here. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, we can go back to shields. But we'll see if that plays out. Okay, so we've got all four of us. I think we're good. Got them over there. Yeah, let's try it out. So we're all trying to go pick things up at the moment. Once we get within range, then we should start fighting. This guy... We'll go pick things up. If someone gets within short range, he's going to move. We should stay over on this side of the map. They're going to immediately pick up three of them over there. He's getting shot at, at the moment, but he's got a resource. He's going to go dump it off. Now he's going to start firing at the closest ones here. I don't care who's carrying resources. Just fire at anybody you can. Sniper is now within range, so he's going to start firing as well. And we should be able to kill that guy, actually. There we go. One down. They're going to score. That's fine. There's plenty more balls on the map. 
Sniper's taking a bit of a beating from this guy, but he's going to score here in a moment. That guy's doing a bit of a dance. They have scored three now. We need to make sure we... There we go. That guy's down. Nice. Where are you going? You're backing up. Sniper's backing up because he's getting a bit, of, uh, a bit of a beating. Machine gun guy is taking a whooping. Firing at him, I guess his health must be just below his. We seem to be focusing on that guy. Now that he's out of range, though, we should look towards him. We appear to be completely ignoring that guy for some reason. Why are we ignoring that guy? Your orders are to fire at anybody. Your first order is to fire at anybody that's nearby. And he's nearby. <laughs> well, I guess that's a, maybe okay. We might still pull through. What are you doing? Why are you going over there? No, fire at the guy that's nearby. Hmm. Because his order was to move near a resource. I guess is what, the, is what the reason was. So they got four. If we can make it here, we'll be fine. But if he turns around and starts getting angry, then we might have a problem. I don't think we're going to, though, because he's out of our short range. Our medium range. So, uh... He should go score it as soon as his shields power back up. There we go. And now he should start shooting again. Okay. we got three minutes left to do this. He's going to back up. Yeah, we're fine. There we go. We did it. We did it. Okay. Oh, chapter one, boss. Oh, what is this? This is a boss fight. They all look the same, though. Mm, let me just play what we have. We may not do any good, but we'll just see what happens here. We've got, what, two assault, sniper, and a, and a shotgun. What's so different about it? This is the final of chapter one, I guess. So again, he'll go over here. He should be hanging around this way. They're all going to fire at this guy. So, um, shotgun man is going to be in trouble. He's going to back up because he's going to be getting shot at. Try to stay out of the range. Shields are powering back up, though. Can you get a score? No, not with shotgun man. Yeah, fire at him. Good, good, good. Okay, so he should be the main target because his shields are low. Or his health is low now. Uh, there goes my shotgun guy. So yeah, these guys are a little more tactical now because they are firing at specific people. Shotgun man immediately went into the close range. Uh, okay. But we're going to call it here. Thanks again for watching. Again, this is Gladia Bots. It is available on itch.io. It is uh, on sale at the moment. I'll put a link down below and you can check it out. Thanks again for watching. And uh, Oh, by the way, this is still in development. I should probably mention that. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.